Slytherins are known for their cunning, ambition, and cleverness in achieving a means to an end. This is part four of my makeup vlog, Get Ready With Me, Harry Potter ColourPop Collection. Hi, today is December 18th, 2022, and in case you didn't know, my name is Lisa. I'm gonna be upfront with you. I wanna go to sleep right now and like sleep for a month because I feel absolutely terrible. I am, I am so sick, but this has to get done and I wanna get it done. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fall behind on my goals. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna push through. Break is almost here. Gotta hold out for two more days. Also, my neighbors are like the loudest they have ever been right now and I think it's because Argentina won the World Cup and they're like all celebrating up there and like re-watching um, the game and just like having a party. So, you know, if you hear any loud banging, that's what that is. So what exactly are we getting ready for? Well, once again, I'm getting ready for the next two videos I have to film today. And, you know, getting ready to film just takes such a long time and I always feel like it's wasted time. So that's why I've been trying to do more makeup vlogs, not because I think it's gonna get lots of views or people are gonna tune in for them, but because, you know, um, it's kind of just the process of getting ready to film those videos. And if they do get lots of views, that's great. And if they don't, then that's fine. Um, I'm gonna have fun with it and I hope you have fun with it too. Um, I collect a lot of cute makeup packages. One of those things is the Harry Potter ColourPop collection. So you'll just see me every now and then showing off all the, the cute makeup I have. But as I am feeling terrible right now, just stay tuned for, you know, just be ready to see me in a bunch of videos looking like a zombie because I'm so tired. Um, okay, first off, before we get started, let's check out my earrings. What Harry Potter earrings do I have on today? I have these cute, Deathly Hollow ones. They're silver, you know, Slytherin's colors are green and silver. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see them very well, but there we go. Um, yeah, so they, they are fitting a theme right now. Um, I love them. I have I have so many Harry Potter earrings and I wasn't able to wear all of them for these videos but I did pick the ones that I like best. So we're gonna get started. First things first we're gonna take a look at the pressed um, eyeshadow palette. There it is again. It's really pretty. I, I just love the artwork on this. It is such a great job and I've showed it to you four times now. And if you want to see the full unboxing the product please check out the Hufflepuff video and I'll link Hufflepuff Ravenclaw and Gryffindor, um, all those videos in the description box down below. But yeah, the unboxing is in Hufflepuff. Gonna open up again, show you all the colors. There we are. And because we're doing Slytherin, as mentioned, it's green and silver are the colors. We're going to be looking primarily at this area over here. So we got this nice dark green. We have this kind of shiny green up here. Um, another shiny green, lighter, um, and then a, ooh, a nice shiny green. This one's like a light, light green. So I'm probably gonna be using all of those. And um, I'm probably gonna be using this gray up here at one point, Elder Wand, it's what it's called. And I'm going to likely be using the Enchanted Keys color for a base. And I'm not really sure about the silver right now. I might go back to Lumos. I used that white um, with Ravenclaw but there's really no other silver colors to go for. That, that's like the most silvery of them, so I'm probably gonna work that one in. So as mentioned to start, I'm gonna start with this base. It's called Enchanted Keys. It's a nice neutral color just to put down. Um, make sure that the green is sitting on top of something other than my, just my natural skin color. I do have primer on. It's just that I, I just found my eyes are just, the, the, my skin is really, really thin and papery. Um, so it's kind of just like not enough. So that's why I always put down this neutral base first. And I really do like this color because it is kind of cool toned. And it's like a purpley, blue, cool toned, brown, nude color. And so it really just suits the green very well. And it goes on really nicely. It like, it sits like well and it sits quickly like onto the skin. So like. One of the complaints I've had with this product so far is that there's people yelling outside. <laughs> there's people yelling upstairs. Um, that it you have to put a lot of eyeshadow on to make some of those colors show up, like the yellows and the gold. So those ones you have to put like a lot on to make it show up. Not so much with the the blues, reds, and greens. I'm I'm well, I'm guessing the greens I haven't put it on yet. But this one definitely goes on very nicely. I think it's really just the yellows, and that's just the nature of yellow. 
Okay, next I'm gonna go for this darker green here, and I'm gonna put it on the inner parts of my eyes, and then I'm gonna work out with this lighter green here to the outer part of my eyes. This green right here is called, um, the first one is Nimbus 2000, and then I'm gonna move on to this one called Hungarian Horntail, which they're both really, really nice. Let me get a better look at them up and close. This one first, move on to this one, and eventually brush out with this green up here. And this one's called Gillyweed. So those are the colors I'm gonna work with next. And then I'm eventually gonna move on to this nice dark Slytherin green color here. It's called Slytherin. Um, I'm gonna use just a little bit of like lining and in the creases of my eyes. Not too much, because it's gonna be overwhelming. So I'm gonna start with Nimbus 2000. So I talk about this part in every one of the series I've done so far for the Harry Potter color pop collection, but um, talking about my Hogwarts houses. And I always mention that most people think that I am a either a Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw. And they think I'm a Hufflepuff typically because I'm really nice and I like food and I'm just a really um, loyal person. And I typically think that I am a Ravenclaw because I'm like an A plus student type. And you know, I'm, I'm very particular and just trying to always do the best that I can in like academic pursuits. You know, I, I don't like, I don't like doing things halfway. People rarely think I'm a Gryffindor, and I think that's just because Gryffindors, well, in my opinion, they have a, I mean, I, I am very hard on Gryffindor type people and people in the books, um, but they do sometimes get a bad rap, and I'm partially responsible for that. So they're just very, like, loud and brash, and I, I guess I'm not as, like, impulsive. I'm not an impulsive person at all. I'm very, very calculated. Um, people don't ever think I'm a Slytherin because their impressions of Slytherins are mean and cunning and backstabby and I, I'm not that at all. But I am very ambitious, so that's one trait I have. So I, I think if I had traits from Holly Harry Potter houses, I guess I am like loyal and hardworking like Huff Puff. I am, um, you know, clever at academic pursuits. I, I, you know, I get really good grades at college and in school and whatever. Um, so that's my Ravenclaw trait, you know, and I am very adventurous and courageous like a Gryffindor and I'm ambitious like a Slytherin. So I could be any one of the houses, really. You just got to pick which one I could be. And let me know in the comments down below what you think it might be. I will probably tell you sometime. I don't know when. Probably by the time the next Harry Potter makeup collection goes out and I want to buy that and try that one out. Um, you know, something like that. So I'm moving on to the Hungarian Horntail color, which is this one right here um, for the outer part of my eyes. So now we can start talking about what's my impression of Slytherin type people. I have a lot of friends who are Slytherins, either self-proclaimed, but typically validated by the, you know, the test you take on the Harry Potter website. And they're generally really, really cool people. I have yet to meet one that's like super backstabby. I've met a lot of people from other houses who would claim to be other houses who are like super backstabby. But when it comes to Slytherins, you know, I don't think that, you know, it, they don't like front on certain things. They pretty much know who they are as people. And because of that, their insecurities are pretty like well in check. So for example, I once got into a huge fight with somebody who was like Hufflepuff, you know? And it just seemed like everything they disliked about themselves, they were projecting onto me. And it was really weird. And I think a person seeing that argument would think, geez, that person's like really Slytherin or whatever because they're so mean. But really, they weren't Slytherin at all, but they had yet to deal with the things that they were insecure about. And I just feel like every time I make a friend with Slytherin, they're like, yeah, I know I'm a bitch. I know I'm mean. You know, and, but they're, and so if they do act that way, it's not without purpose. You know, it's typically because you just something set them off. And um, you'll see this in the video I'm doing later, but I'm calling 2023 the year of mean <laughs> because I want to embrace being mean a little bit more because I've just been so nice for so long. I'm kind of tired of it. And I kind of made a point to talk about how I'm like stone cold bitch on the inside, you know, and 
to my friends, you know, <laughs> I mean, not to my friends, I'm like, oh, bitch to them. I mean, like, I'm bitchy around them and they are like, yes, Lisa, bring the bitch out, like that, you know, because they're all Southerns and they're encouraging me. They're a bad influence, I guess. But um, it's, it's kind of liberating, I think, just to kind of say what you mean and what you think, but with a purpose, you know, like, don't just be mean for no reason. Be mean with purpose for a cause, I guess. Not like social justice but, you know, for um, stand up to people, stand up for yourself, stand up for your friends, things like that. So when I say, like, they're mean for a purpose and they're really good at being mean, I feel like we can now talk about what causes the, the bitchiness. What is the bitchiness of this house? So, for example, Hufflepuff, as mentioned, are Southern bitches. Bless your heart. Very much that kind of bitchy type attitude. Uh, Ravenclaws are condescending, it's very annoying. And Gryffindors are brash and they will double down and not be able to see where you live. I feel like Slytherins, if they're bitchy for you, it's probably because, you know, I mean, if they're if they're uninvolved Slytherin, yeah, they'll be bitchy for no reason, but most of them, if they're like self-aware, which I think most Slytherins are self-aware, they're gonna be bitchy for a reason. And that reason is because you piss them off. And they're going to hurt, hit you where it hurts, basically. They're going to find the actual root of the problem because likely you're fighting with them because you're projecting your insecurities and they're going to throw your insecurities right back at you. If you do that, it's fair game. That's what I think. Um, like I said, clearly it's not always the case, but it's just something that I've noticed. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm praising Slytherin too much. <laughs> but, but yeah, I do like Slytherins. I do. Because, you know, they do have flaws. Like I said, if they're like an unevolved type Slytherin, if, they're, if they aren't as cool as the ones that I usually meet, that means that they're going to throw your insecurities at you for no reason out of the blue over slight disagreements. And that's not the place to do it. That's not the place in time. Because they're able to identify those things. They're able to know, you know, Slytherins, if you're to pick an element for Slytherin, they will be the water ones, right? That's, you would think, oh, emotional, nice, whatever. No, emotional manipulative emotional understanding emotions think like like you want to think like astrology which harry potter is basically astrology they would be like very scorpio right scorpio and so um that means that they understand the emotional depths of things very well and so they can see your emotional issues and so if they're unevolved they're gonna have emotional issues on you but likely if they are if they do have it together they're gonna understand your emotional issues as well. It's basically what I'm saying. I was like, like 10 times, 10 different ways. Okay, so next I'm gonna buff out the green colors, which I love. I think the green looks fantastic um, with the gillyweed. So yeah, get this a little bit closer so you can see. <gasps> gillyweed, nice light green color, very pretty. And it's kind of a silvery green, so it might work. I might add a little bit of the white on top, but we'll just see how this one turns out. Yep, and it's very nice so far, love it. Um, I kind of want to add a little bit more of the Hungarian Horntail here, and let's just add a tiny bit. Before I start adding the Slytherin Green, I want to put it right up here on the outside, just to give it more definition um, and, like, I guess more depth to the color. Good. I'll have to clean it up later. It's kind of... You know, glitter goes everywhere. It's like herpes. Next, I'm going to take the flat edge brush I have, and I'm going to dabble a little bit in the Slytherin and add it in the creases and kind of around the lines of my eyes. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna buff that out a little bit. Definitely needs to be cleaned up, but that's okay. So I'm gonna clean off the flat edge brush. I'm gonna dive into that Elder Wand color, kind of more the cool toned gray. And there's two like gray grays on here. And there's this sorting hat gray. And this gray, as I said, is like more of a warm gray. And this is more of the cool tone gray. And that's what we're going for because the greens are more of a cool green there. And we're just gonna use this to line the rest of my eyes just to make sure it looks like 
I'm not a bald. What's that? What's that animal from Kim Possible? A naked mole rat. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to look like a naked mole rat, so I need to line my eyes a little bit. I'm gonna now dive into the Lumos just a little bit, just to add kind of like a silvery bit to the colors here up top. Not that much, because I don't really need it. Because the green, as I said, it looks kind of silvery on its own right now, so it's pretty good. This one, I don't know. I can't decide which one I like better, this one or the Hufflepuff. Or the Gryffindor. <laughs> Definitely Ravenclaw's last. Don't like the Ravenclaw colors. Really like this one. So I'm going to now um, apply the liner, which is the, um, it's a green liner. And it's called Lock It. Because remember these ones, all the liners are named after like the Horcruxes and then the Sword of Gryffindor. All the different components of the houses. Um, okay, so I'm going to that's what it looks like. I'm gonna open it up. And then I'm gonna show you on the back of my hand. It's very, very green, it's very nice. And then I'm going to just carefully get a little bit. Oops. Not on my eyeball. <laughs> I'm so terrible at liner. Just get a little bit. The best ones so far for the liners are definitely the red and the um, the yellow. Green is okay. I just think it's a little too foresty. I kind of would have liked a color closer to the Hungarian Horntail. Just the mere fact of like this being anywhere near my eyes is making my eyes water already. <laughs> Everything makes my eyes water. It's like I'm crying. No, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet to cry on YouTube. Believe me, I'll save that for another day. We'll say that when I start getting really mean comments. <laughs> why is everybody so mean to me? Because you're on YouTube, that's why. Oof. Oh my god, I really am crying. So, um, this really brings out the, um, <laughs> the green in my eyes. My eyes are kind of weird. They're technically blue because they appear blue from a distance. Um, but if you were to look at them up close, they're um, mostly gray and white. It's really weird. Mostly gray and white, and then around the pupil, they're a very, very light lime green. And then they have such a dark blue circle around the outer part of the eye that it just makes the gray and white on the inner part look blue. So every time I put on like a lavender color or um, the greens like this, my eyes just look more and more green. I need like a tissue or something. I don't want to ruin the makeup. Oh my God. That eyeliner gave me tears. But I'm basically done with the eyeshadow and I love it. And if you see me looking at myself, because <laughs> I'm looking at my eyes right there. Anyways, I'm gonna put that away. It is finally done. And I'm going to now add the mascara. And I talked about this before, but this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast, uh, Lash, Lash Blast, oh my God, mascara. And I love it because it's hypoallergenic because my eyes cry as it is and it's gonna prevent as much crying as possible. You know, this reminds me, um, talking about with green eyes, reminds me of a conversation I have with my friend who's extremely Southern. Um, and she like argued to no end that my eyes were green. And eventually I just gave into it. I was like, well, you know, I've always wanted green eyes, so why not just admit that they're green? <laughs> just one of those things. Slytherins, just like Gryffindors, have a hard time admitting that they're wrong. I mean, usually they're right, usually they are. But when they are wrong, they're very, very wrong. And they have a hard time admitting that they're wrong. <laughs> Just to calm them out a little bit. But it's different than Gryffindor. It's different, like I said, because Gryffindors, I feel like they're rushing into a situation. Um, and so because they rush into it, they feel embarrassed. And so they, they won't admit they're wrong. With Slytherins, if they've done all the hard work ahead of time and they've come to the logical conclusions and they know for a fact that they're right, so even when they're presented with the fact, oh, actually you are wrong, they're like, there's no way I could be wrong. I've already done all the work. And it's like, even with evidence in their face, they still think that they're right. That's that's an insult I can give the Gryffindor, to um, Slytherins. They're like, because Slytherins and Gryffindors are like two sides of the same coin. 
And I feel like certain houses get along with each other better. So like Slytherins can be friends with Ravenclaws and Gryffindors, but it's hard for them to be friends with Hufflepuffs. Gryffindors can be friends with Hufflepuffs and Slytherins, but it's hard for them to be friends with Ravenclaws. Ravenclaws can be pretty good friends with Slytherins and Hufflepuffs, but it's hard for them to be friends with Gryffindors. And then Hufflepuffs, yeah, they're hard for them to be friends with Slytherins, but good friends with Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. It's just one of those things, you know? You have to find your, your match and your opposite and your inverse. Love the eyes. Now we're going to clean everything up, put the rest of the foundation on. Um, I use the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Foundation. I use Warm 2, although weird. Um, <laughs> they recently changed it to Warm 1 2 because it used to have like a different color here. Um, underneath this one and so I feel like it's much lighter than it used to be but then warm three by itself is too dark and they really just need to come out with the 2.5 mineral mouth foundation like they have with the liquid makeup this is warm 2.5 this is what I put down first before I put everything else on and then I finish off with the mineral foundation and if they just had mineral foundation 2.5 we wouldn't have this problem but, you know I'll just have to write to them start a letter writing campaign Make sure I'm blending in the horrible contour that I did earlier. <laughs> I don't use the brush that comes on top of this. It's a nice thought, L'Oreal. I mean, it's great if you're like, you know, getting ready in the car, but the problem with this brush, it doesn't hold the makeup. Makeup just goes everywhere. Versus if you use like this brush I have, I have no idea what is this brush. Flat Kabuki, my mom bought it for me, Lamora. I have no idea if that's a good brand or not. But it holds the makeup and it doesn't like go everywhere when you're putting it on. So even if it is a cheap brand, I have no idea. It does its job. I feel very peach today. I don't know why. I, mean, I think I'm paler on camera. Ugh. Anyways, okay. So now I'm going to take this, kind, this brush here and I'm going to clean up around my eyes add definition, make them look less smudgy. And it makes the eyeshadow look better. Looks like it's better done after you do it. Just kind of put some lines there. Okay, then I'm going to get up here by the eyebrow. Doesn't look like the makeup's going into the eyebrow. Voila, I love it. Okay, now to add the blush, and I use the same blush every single time. You've seen it many, many times now, but it's Georgette Sleeper Shock Cheek Satin. Love the color, the color is perfect. Just gonna add that on. I wish Harry Potter came with some blush, but whatever. Let's put it on there. Make sure I got it on. Now I'm going to move on to highlighter, and today I selected Hedwig because I feel it's the coolest tone of the highlighters. Um, the other ones are, are, I definitely lean warm tone, in my opinion, warm and neutral. And this one, definitely the silveriest, you know, most silvery. Get that one going. Pretty sure I used the same one with um, Ravenclaw. I am nice and highlighted. Last thing I need to do is lips and as mentioned in my Gryffindor video, I'm actually, because I'm sick right now, I don't wanna spread whatever virus I have onto my chapstick and onto my lipstick. So I'm going to be using my finger, which is clean, to put it on my mouth and just like do it that way. This is the Slytherin one, it's cute. All the chapsticks are scented and they taste delicious. And so I don't know what this one's gonna taste like. I'm wondering, maybe lime or something like that. It's called pride. You know, I guess they're to have pride. And they do, and for good reason. It's very pretty, I like that. Of course it should be silver, it has gold on it, but maybe they're just going with the gold motif, the Pogwarts. Hmm. It smells like cucumber. That's how I would describe it. Or mint, no, that's what it is. It's more a minty um, scent. Ah, oh, yes, I think it's mint. I don't know why I thought cucumber. <laughs> Because it's like a fresh, mint is fresh, cucumber is fresh. Just putting that on.
Mm, definitely mint. It's really nice. Nice spearmint. I like that a lot. I'm a big fan of mint. Big fan of citrus, anything like that. That's why I love the, um, the Huff Puff one, which is like the lemon cream, because I love anything like citrusy or minty. I hate everything floral. Okay, so now I'm going to get the... I had to pick between Ron, Hermione, and Harry. Harry is like that purpley red, Ron's kind of an orangey red, and then Hermione is a pink, and I think I want to do Hermione again. Here's her little box. She's super cute. Look at her. And then it's this pink color, and I want to go with that one just because I like it best. And I've already used Harry, and I've already used Ron. I used uh, Ron on HuffPuff, and I used Harry on Gryffindor. Um, I used Hermione on Ravenclaw. I'm going to use this again. Put on my, my new finger. <laughs> It's going to be really smudgy. I'm going to have to clean it up afterwards. It's not too much. It's very understated. That's what I want in a lipstick. I'm not into the big, bold colors unless I'm doing something big and bold for a reason. Like, it worked on it worked on Huff Puff because Huff Puff's a huge statement color for eyeshadow. It's not overpowering, so you can use a strong lip with it. You can't use a strong lip with the blue for Ravenclaw. It'd be insane like a clown. And for Gryffindor it only worked because if you're using red you already have red on you and I was wearing a red sweater. This one, I feel like green, it's going to be closer to that blue but it's less obnoxious so I still want understated lip because the eyes are so, you know, big. If they're so green. I'm also going to add a little bit of gloss because this color is so subtle and I'm going to use the Luna Love Good Lip Gloss. It's very silvery and nice and so it's just going to bring it out a little bit more which is okay because it's already so subtle. I'm gonna use my pinky. It's a color, it's a finger I haven't used yet. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just gonna clean up around my mouth a little bit with that same brush I used to clean it up around my eyes. Just to make sure it's not smudged. Okay, and we are all done with putting that look together. Now I can film my other videos. Um, Man, I actually, I really love this, this set. This set, is, it's awesome. I'm going to be using it a lot, I think. I have more makeup coming because I'm, I'm addicted. It's my problem. Some people are addicted to drugs and I'm addicted to makeup. And I'm not, even, I'm not a professional. Like I said, never a professional. This is an amateur video. Okay, but it's fun and I love it. I don't get a lot of views of these videos, but I have some friends who really like them. So I'm going to keep doing them and I'm not using it as a waste of time. It's content. It's at least something. I put something out there into the to world, into the void, kind of. It's YouTube. YouTube's a big void. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the final look. So let's take out a look at it. Do a lot of poses here. Okay, I think that's enough. i um, pretty sure I got it. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great night. I'll see you in the next few videos with the same eye makeup and everything and the same look. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, have a good year.